Yeah, yeah. I'm good now. I'm all caught up. Yeah, I'll, no, I made sure to turn that right off. I'm not letting that happen again. Alright. Oh, and, um... Thanks. Yeah. Anyway... What's going on, guys? My name is Mount Omega, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we got through the rest of the coal mines, defeated Punchinello, our third major boss, and got our third star piece. And we're starting to get quite the uh, collection here. I pressed the wrong button again. If the ending of last episode was any indication, things aren't going the best. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. Uh, anyway. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to continue going through Brewster Pass and hopefully get to Brewster's Tower, where we, there may be a lead on where the princess is. So, uh, yeah. Now, I already got the hidden treasure over on the very left last episode, but there's another one over here. Rock Candy. This thing is pretty cool. Rock Candy is an item that you use in battle that deals massive damage to every enemy on screen. It's really cool, and if you can manage to get a freebie with these things, whew, your, your luck is certainly better than mine. Anyway. Now onto the second and last area of Booster Pass. Yeah, we're, we're done already. Now, you'll see up on the top there, those are, these are those spikesters in those little uh, crevices there. Now, you can go and fight them, or you can jump on this hidden button in this alcove. You don't get any experience for this, but damn does it make things easier. <laughs> Alright, get a flower over here, and uh, let's keep on going. Because, uh, we're already done. That was it. I ended the last episode with that mishap right in the middle of a two-room area. My luck, ladies and gentlemen. My luck. Anyway, now boost the tower and... Bowser? Why is he here? <laughs> wow, now you just get sentimental. Those are ice in the door over there. Someone's spying on us. <laughs> uh, the King of Koopa is getting sentimental and crying about it. And <laughs> he's trying to regain his composure. <laughs> yes, it's a very Bowser thing to say. <laughs> um, confidence is one of the things you need. The other is, um, your character. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit better. Nice save. Real nice. Speaking of... She is here! What are the odds? <laughs> the princess from the sky who landed in Bruce's Tower was indeed Peach all along. Now, not only is she a princess in a castle, now she's a princess in a tower. This woman really goes through all of the damsel in distress cliches, doesn't she? Yeah, how about that, huh? What are you laughing about? Wait, really? But this is your chance to get her again! I mean... Alright. Well, that settles it. Bowser's home is more important than his lifelong goal to kidnap his new girlfriend. <laughs> well, what, who he hopes to be his girlfriend. Anyway, um, this welcome sign. If you look up on the very top right of it, you'll see, um, some markings. That is actually Japanese. Um, that is katakana that reads out Buki, which is the Japanese name for Booster. And, uh, the door's locked. Well, I guess that's it. Sorry, princess, but, uh, no can do. What are you doing back here? Um, 
Okay, okay, Jesus Christ. Um, Bowser? Did you just help us? I mean, not complaining, but talk about you being out of character. Again. Actually, you know what? You're not far off. What's going on now? You will let us join the Koopa Troop. Um... Sure, why not? But more importantly... Bowser has just... Casually joined our party. Okay. That's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> Though now the game wants to give us a tutorial on how to switch our allies, and I do want not that. I do want not that. <laughs> I do want not that. I do not want that, because I'm going to be switching them myself. So I am going to be switching Mallow with Bowser. Now, basically, you can only have three party members in battle at a time, and Mario is always going to be in battle. There's no chance of you being able to switch him out. So, I'm going to have to switch out Mallow or Gino, and Mallow's gotten more of a spotlight, so he gets to warm the bench for a bit. Now, Bowser. Whew. Bowser. Bowser is a brute. <laughs> this guy's pretty much a physical tank. And what a physical tank. Now, his power... Gino uh, does um, often outshine him in terms of power. Like, I say that now as... Um, like, Bowser's uh, base attack is higher than Geno's at the moment, but Geno can actually very often outshine Bowser on raw power. But even then, Bowser really all about that brute force, and, well, what would you expect from King of the Coopers? Really strong guy, and he's got some pretty nice status sum inflicting moves as well. Yeah, status inflicting moves from a brute like Bowser. We'll be playing around with those a bit later. Anyway, welcome to Booster's Tower. So, let's have, a, let's have a look around here. Here's one of, this is one of the uh, Sniffits that uh, were chasing around the beetle before. Let's have a chat with him. Oh, hello there. Oh, but I wanted to play. Or I can do that. Yeah, why not? I'm feeling pretty bored. <laughs> Alright, so, Sniffits. Uh, some of the tougher enemies that you'll find in Booster's Tower, but really not too bad. They're not they're not that much worse than um, most of the things we've come across at this point. I just realized that Mario and Gino have really lost some HP. How the hell did that happen? What battle was I in and when did I forget to heal? Uh, I don't know. I don't care. The less I have to think on last episode, the better. Oh, god damn it. Yes, I know I said I feel better, but it still sucks, damn it. Anyway, that takes care of the sniffet. And we've got some more enemies over this away. So, these guys are Spookums. And joining them on occasion, we can find Remocons and Orb Users. Yeah, Spookums. Spookums. They're pretty much just weak as Sniffets, really. And... <laughs> you see the Y button there? <laughs> the Remocon sprite is causing it to glitch out. Wow. Uh, anyway. Now, Orb user, we want to use special attacks on because their physical defense is through the goddamn roof. That may also be the same for the Remocons, but Bowser doesn't have any special attacking moves. We got this terrorized thing, but I want to save that for a bit later. Only 8 damage? Very nice. Bowser's physical defense is most definitely nothing to sneeze at. It's even kind of making Bowser's hair glitch out a bit, that um, Remicon sprite. Damn it, game! <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Mario really took some damage there. Um, now, something that is nice is that... Never mind. 
Never mind. Um. Okay. Well, I thought this was going to be different, but it's apparently not, so that kind of sucks, but oh well, what are you going to do? Um, if I want to use uh, HP Rain, I'm going to switch my light back in. Which won't be too much of an issue, I guess. There we go. Bowser doesn't really need the healing, he only lost 8 HP. Switch my back out, and I'll use one of my flower jar. Flower jar or flower box? Ah, flower box. We're overflowing with FP. And here, we're gonna seesaw with a bob bomb on it. Wait. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> but, uh, you'll want to remember that for later, though. Head on up this way. Gonna have to spook him. Oh, with a new enemy, Jester. Uh, quite the funny guy, this one. I wanted to think of something funnier, but I couldn't. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah. You know, something interesting about Jess is that there's actually a recolor of these guys um, called Harlequins. That uh, aren't... You can find in the game's coding, but you never see them in the game. So I guess it's a case of uh, enemies that like, existed at one point, but not really. Yeah. Oi. Uh, I smell shenanigans, among other things. <laughs> now, these uh, pictures right here. Whoops. <laughs> You want to take note of these for a bit later. So there's a guy wearing. Uh, hmm. What are those? A beret? I think it's a beret. One wearing a beret, one wearing a cat, one wearing an eye patch. One who. Who does that look like? That looks like someone. Anyway, this guy is not wearing a hat. There's a guy with a beanie, and there's this ugly looking fella. I mean, they're all kind of ugly, but this one in particular, Jesus Christ. Alright, so we'll want to remember the uh, order of these pictures for something a bit later. Now, up in this corner... Brock coin! Is that a train? Uh... Hi. You're the guy who's been spying on me, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're Booster. Well, why can't I play now? Really? I'm sure you've been doing a fantastic job. At our own risk. That's so. And music change! Alright, you get back here. And... No, 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 Oh. Uh, hi. Alright, well, just another snippet, so nothing really new. But, uh, we really need to get Bowser a weapon, because his uh, physical attack may be pretty good looking at the moment, but uh, it's not really going to much good at the moment. Hey, flower tab, nice. Uh, crap. Um, hey, we'll juice. Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about that. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> uh, funny story, um, the little mishap at the end of the last video, well, uh, I had to re-record the entirety of episodes 10 and 11. Well, not re-record, -re just re replay through. And, um, while I was going back through the coal mines again, um, I managed to get one of the Yoshi cookies to work on a Sparky, and Yoshi gave me a fireball. Which is pretty nice, and th these things are actually pretty rare and do a ton of fire-based damage, so we want to hold on to this. Um, I'm still really full. Uh, I'll hold on to that mid-mushroom, just in case I don't feel like switching uh, Mallow back in. Uh, 
I got the Yoshi candy too. I think I'll just go ahead and use that flower tab. I'm not going to be struggling for FP um, really soon anyway. Alright. So this away. Ah! New enemies! Robombs! Bobombs and Robombs. They are very, very imaginative with the enemy names. I can't stress that enough. This is going down pretty easy and giving me tons of defense ups. Not that I'll need them. Yeah. Someone give this man a weapon! Now this room here. It, oi! Now, this is the pathway I want to go down, but uh, you know me. I want to go for all the side stuff first, and this one is very much worth it. Now, given the change in music, you could guess that we are in, uh, we are back in an earlier area of the tower. What I want to do is, I think it's this one right here. Jump down like here. Well, I missed, but I think you get the idea. I'm going to try that again. Let's try this again. Maybe if I don't run at it this time. There we go. Really? So I do have to run at it. Once more with feeling. There we go. Yay! And we found a masher. What? Ow! You're right there, buddy. <laughs> anyway, the masher is a weapon for Mario. And a really good one. Look at that. Another 20 to his attack. And if we look... Yeah, look. 56 is his base. Meaning the masher has a 50 attack on... That is awesome. We want this. <laughs> now... Well, give Bowser an accessory, although I can only give him the antidote then. Uh, actually, you know what? Mallow isn't in the party now. So... Wait, what? Oh, that probably just... Okay, yep. I was confused for a second there, but no, those were Mallow stats we were looking at. Yeah, I'll give Bowser the true form pin for now. Alright, uh, so I'll meet you guys back up there. Alright, so now I can go along the intended path, and we get the switch! And something new has happened in Booster Pass, which we'll have to go and check out a little later. Alright, and, oh, oh, this room. This room is really good. Walk behind this curtain. Walk back out. Look at that! <laughs> it's old 8-bit Mario from the original Super Mario Brothers! This is one of the coolest throwbacks in the game to our uh, traditional Mario, and it's great. Although it only lasts for as long as until you try to walk through a door. For some reason. And Mario's just like, what happened? <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Yep. Alright, and Gino leveled up, level 9. Now, if I remember correctly, level 9 was physical? It most certainly is. Let's go, Gino. Right. Well, Baz is actually starting to take a little bit of a beating. Luckily, we have that mid mushroom, which has exactly as much HP as he has. So, yeah, convenient, I guess. And at the top here, lots of nice bullet bills. Alright. Oh, we got a new enemy! Blasters! So we can't take this thing out. Now these things are weak to thunder, but uh, I don't exactly have Mallow on me at the moment. Plus we got that spooking to deal with, but he shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
These things are... Never mind. I'm going to shut up right now. <laughs> Look at all the damage Gino's doing. It's amazing. Alright, and Bowser levels up. Very, very nice. Now, just like with Mario, for Bowser, I want to focus on physical and HP. Which, for a physical tank like him, is probably what you'd want to do anyway. Alright, and now we have the third Sniffet. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, that was for that. Alright, moving on, we're in more Robombs. Now, are there any more enemies? Well, I was able to answer the question I was about to ask during that battle as I look over my notes. We still have a couple of enemies to encounter. Safe block. You know... I... I, I took the save state functions off my triggers. But I still kind of want to save just in case. This, uh, <laughs> this paranoia should, really should not be a problem, just bad experiences, okay? Alright, and we got this room here. Need the key to get in. Oh, okay. Take a look at Bruce's family portraits in order from the oldest to the youngest. This is where you need to remember that order of the pictures that we saw down in the lobby. And I think I got this. There's this one. There's this one. Was the guy with the eye patch, the guy with no hat, the beanie, and the ugly motherfucker. Yeah, him. All right, and we have the elder key. Open that door, and it's a chain chomp. Oh, let's try going after it. Vicious little thing, isn't it? Um, what am I witnessing right now? Bowser, what are you doing? She's a bit shy. Um, Bowser. Oh. Nice. <laughs> All right, and we got a chump. We want to equip that to Bowser right away. I can start putting that beefy attack to some really good use. Alright, well, moving on. And up on this away. And we've got this thwomp on a seesaw. Recovery shroom. Always appreciated. Alright. I'll go over this way. And head into this alcove. Yep, there's actually a hidden treasure in there. Although we didn't need to jump twice for it for whatever reason, but this actually does count as a hidden treasure. And we get a frog coin out of it. Just run to the end of this little alcove and then jump. Simple as that. Ah, now we got this room. Which as you can see is littered with coins and frog coins. I'm still at my coin cap, so these are going to waste. God damn it. Now you want to be careful where you step here. Because... Wrong move can net you an enemy encounter. Like that. With... As soon as the game will let me show the case their name. Any day you're ready. Fireballs! Recolored Sparkies. Oh, look at all the damage I'm doing. God damn. We're just a trio of powerhouses right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Trio of powerhouses right now because Gino, Bowser, and Mario with the masher. Okay, um, two things. One. I'm at my coin cap anyway. Two, this battle didn't reward me with any coins. There's no point. <laughs> anyway. Now, generally, the the spots on the floor with the um, coins are safe. As is, 
this room key. And right in front of this door. We're inside, we need ourselves a pair of zoom shoes. And these zoom shoes increase a character's speed by 10. Now, can I put that on anyone and not really get any loss out of it? Uh, you know, Gino is insanely fast already. How's that? Oh, what's everyone's speed looking like? 20, 15, 35. Okay. Well... Give the fearless pin to Gino, and I'll give the zoom shoes to Mario. That ought to be good enough. Alright, let's move on. Get the rest of these, even though I'm just kind of wasting them at this point. Move on. And now we finally get to fight chomps. New enemy chomps! <laughs> and... A little bit beefy. Dude. Never mind. <laughs> Full house. Wait, so the wild card is like a whole ton of cards being thrown at me, but full house is just one. I'm absolutely sure that shouldn't be backwards. Now... The, the timing on uh, the chomp is that you want to hit the button just as the chomp uh, well, hits the target. I don't think it's too tricky, at least nowhere near as tricky as some of Geno's attacks are. Well, most of Geno's attacks are. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so Mario got to level 10. And he learns Super Flame! Pretty much the upgraded Fire Orb, except... Uh, unlike from jump to super jump, this is pretty much just a fire orb that does more damage. You know what? That's all I need, because the last thing I need is another super jump. Alright, last one was attack, so this one will be HP, and I will take that. Uh, I'll fight this one too, why not? Alright, and now Mallow reaches level 10 as well. Very nice. And shocker! Now we have a single target uh, thunder based attack. And this one is pretty cool because this can deal a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, Mallow could use some more HP. <laughs> and. Uh. Yeah, well, it looks like you're at the end of the line, bub. Yeah. I, I, I never left. Well, I am Mario. Super Mario, that is. Um, you know, actually, that's pretty much, I'd say, 90% of her vocabulary in the first place. Wait, does he really not know that I'm Mario? That's a first. Now, you can do one of two things here. You can just hide in here until everything blows over, or you can run out that door. I'm just going to stay here and look at this portrait, because I think it's funny. I am a picture. Don't mind me. I was trying to remember something that one of the pictures in Harry Potter would have said, but nothing came to mind, therefore my time completely went to waste. And then he sulks. Which is exactly what happens if you just run out of the room, except he will complain about you just leaving on him while he's having fun. <laughs> Whoa!
personal space, please. <laughs> Alright, and up here. Alright, end of the line. We're at the end of Brewster's Tower. In there is uh, the very last room, and then we'll. This, then there's Peach. But before I end things off. One. Uh. Now. I just need to. Yep. I'll get this one first. And now. Another one! A goodie bag! Goodie bag? What's that? Where's I forgotten? Packed full of coins! It's selling photo! It's a nugget! <laughs> and my coin cap has. <laughs> my money's reached a coin cap! Now, I'm gonna to need to spend a lot of money later so I can sell that. But whenever I spend it, it will not be during this episode because uh, it's at its end. I accidentally went back out the door. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we got pretty much all the way through Bruce's Tower in this episode, and next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG, we're going to end things off and hopefully save the princess from this, uh, well, crazy man child. I think that's the best way to put it. <laughs> but in any case, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.